have enough students to fill it. Our, our school system has been declining in enrollment, which is not the only thing on as many kids in town. And as a result, they, um, we, they, they closed the school, and also because it needed considerable amounts of work. So it was closed, uh, for my belief, closed for too long. It's been sitting there as a dead building. The board had released it, and then, you know, Boris Lechman sat on it too long. And it's time for us to come up with a plan. I can tell you what I want. Uh, I am most interested in seeing if we can use it um, for some way to bring more people into town through town government. So I love the idea of trying to relocate town hall back there, put it back in the middle of town. That draws people, that draws uh, people into the business, and then we have lots of possible uses for the Hammond Acid Road property. Title II applies to state and local governments, which means local or state governments that have services or programs must provide accessibility to anyone with a disability. If they, services are needed, the person with the disability can request those services and they must be provided. An example for the deaf and hard of hearing would be with the police department, fire department, or hospitals, if you request an interpreter, one is supposed to be provided. When the, school, when the school board still had control of Academy School, we had analyzed in depth what to do with the building, if we were going to take it back and put it online. What ended up happening is when we brought in experts to tell us how much it would cost to bring the school back up to being online, it was astronomical. There were issues with handicap accessibility, there was issues with the septic, there was issues with the paint that's peeling through the building. We're not sure if there's some lead paint in there. Um, the building itself, when it was a school back as the original school, it was built without any of the um, requirements that, need, that are today necessary to run a school. At that point, we didn't know what to do with the building. We met with the town. We decided to give the building back to the town. The town is kind of running into the same issues we have. It's going to cost a tremendous amount of money to do anything with it. If we sell it, the question, if they decide to sell it, do you sell it and build condos with it, and which is one option. Another option was could you put town offices in there, but you would have to, parts of the building are probably becoming unsafe because it hasn't been utilized in so many years. So there is an old section to the building that's in the back versus the newer section uh, I mean, the newer sections in the back, the older sections in the front. So if you could take down part of the building and just use the front section for town offices, that was a possibility. Um, there is a tremendous amount of tradition with that building. It means a lot to the community. It's our first building. So there was a sense that the Historical Society and members of the community wanted to maintain it as an icon for the, for the community. But again, the, the cost of it is becoming more and more prohibited in terms of what we can do with the building. Um, to, to my knowledge, uh, the school system continues to decline in enrollment because they haven't had any space problems done with the school system. So they, 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 uh, the, the Board of Ed proposed their most recent budget. Um, there was no indication in that budget that they needed to um, they needed to uh, expand or get any additional space very well in their space, and the board that hasn't been asked for any additional space. So it's working. Uh, the current space is working fine, uh, but there's no, there's really no indication that we will need to shrink further either. You know, we're we're good as we are. Until we know the use, we don't know how much. The process would involve us going probably to town meeting and asking the voters to support a redevelopment plan. But right now, where it is in the phase with the committee is we have gone and we have asked them to explore different uses, you know, how much they would cost. Some options for the property would include things like um, relocating town hall back to the middle of town. That brings business and people to town hall, and then considering a different use for the existing campus, which might even be selling it. Um, you know, the existing the, the town, the, you know, town campus where it is now, we're selling off part of it. Another use might be uh, 
uh, might be trying to do something in conjunction with the library, and there's always a chance of using it for different sort of programmatic spaces, like, um, you know, can we end up using it in conjunction with the, the, uh, the senior center to make it a community center? Um, those are the types of things that the committee is looking at, and I don't know that any one thing is leading over another. 